Web animations are a great way to add eye-catching visual content to your web pages. Quickly create an animated response to an event like a mouse over, a mouse click or a screen touch. For example, the items can fade in when first displayed, have a wobble animation as you mouse over it, and a different animation again when you click the item. You can also trigger pop-up layers or pop-up text, and you can have objects reveal themselves as you scroll down a page. To make these things happen, just right-click on the object you want to animate, and then choose Web Animation. You will see three tabs giving you control over how your animated object will behave for a mouse over, a click or a touch if you are designing for a touch device, and a reveal or a scrolling animation. So for a mouse over effect you've got a whole bunch of different effects you can apply here, as well as a speed for the various effects here. You can apply some pop-up text here, and to see what your animation is going to look like, you preview it using the onboard preview buttons here. Let's see what this looks like. There are a couple of other options. You can have the mouse over call a pop-up layer here. First of all you have to create a layer here in the page and layer gallery. Right click, new layer. Make sure the object you want to pop up is on the layer. Here's a photo for example. Now back in the animations dialog you'll see the layer you just created in the drop down here. So select the layer and then choose an effect and a speed here. You can also choose whether or not to have the pop-up close automatically or not. If you choose to close it manually, a little cross appears on the pop-up. The remaining option is the document default settings. This setting affects objects on the mouse over layer. It's the general default setting which you override for individual objects when you give them their own settings, like we've just done. Now moving on to the second tab, we've got the click touch settings. These are pretty much the same as the mouse overs. Again we've got the effects and the speed and the default settings for all objects in your document except for the ones you've made individual changes to. The third tab, the reveal scroll tab, lets you control how and when the object comes into view in the browser window. So for a reveal animation you can set an animation type as well as a speed and a delay for the animation in the top section. And when I preview you can see the reveal animation as the object comes into view in the browser window. I can opt to have the reveal just the first time the object appears or every time it appears. The bottom section lets me set a trigger object which will cause the reveal object to appear when the trigger comes into view. So here's my trigger object. I have to name it up here on the toolbar. Then over in the animation dialog I find the trigger name in the list. And when I preview my object won't reveal until the trigger comes into view. When I set a scroll animation I can just select a speed. The selected object animates as the page is scrolled. Scroll slowly and the object animates slowly as you scroll. Scroll faster and the object animates faster too. The speed slider determines how fast the animation runs relative to the scrolling speed. The parallax scroll animation, the one at the top of the list, allows objects to scroll at a different rate to others. Take a look at the parallax scroll movie for a more in-depth look.